Live from the hinterlands of Austin, where our yinglings spray everywhere. It's going to be a great night. Now, here are the two hosts who most resemble the absolute ideal versions of the Golden Girls. It's Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! I'm Blanche. I, 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 I'm Blanche. I, Colin I, Blanche. I called dibs on the old one who is secretly the youngest one. Sophie. Which one is that one? Sophie. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm blanching, ho. What? Blanching, ho? Blanching. You're blanching, ho. Blanching, ho. Uh, okay. <laughs> Use it in a sentence. Uh, uh, Excuse me, sir. Uh, that'll be $27.99 for this Jiffy Lube lubrication uh, that you just finished. Is there anything you'd like to say? Oh, uh, actually, uh, uh, do you guys think Apple Pay? Because I'm blanching, no. ho. Uh, oh, uh, mm, no, we don't take Apple Pay. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Hensane. <laughs> Nailed it. Hensane. Worked out good. Uh, how you doing, dude? Dude, uh, it's been a busy week. Normally, I would I would ask you about some shit that you that you did but we've actually spent the majority of the last week in each other's company yeah it was like i i, I called you it's like ring ring hey uh what up bro it's me justin busy person i was like ha ha we'll see about that and you're like what does that mean and i was like will you also come with me to vegas and you were like <laughs> okay you literally called me at the airport yeah. flying to florida to see whether or not i would go to vegas and yeah. indeed i did which we will talk about but we begin here. Bryce? Ah, yes. Uh, our, <laughs> that's right. I was totally ready ready for that. All right. <laughs> yeah. Our first topic. He's that... blanching it, yo. I'm blanching it. A norm san norm. Uh, so uh, RIP to somebody that was a comedy legend to both Brian and I, and I'm sure many, many, many folks who are, are listening now. Norm MacDonald passed away unexpectedly, although not without cause. He had apparently been battling ca a cancer for 10 years. Yeah, I suppose the part that surprises me the most is that he kept it quiet for nine years. Like, like, like it seems like that is such a powerful tool uh, to 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 tell everybody to shut the fuck up at any given time that I'm really, number one, impressed, number two, surprised that he would I, refuse to use it for nine fucking years straight. I am indeed impressed, but I am in no way surprised. Like, I, I think he very much was understanding and a, uh, a student of comedy and very proud of his comedy to the point where he wanted exactly what he said to be the thing that affected everybody's emotions. And if he walked into a room, let's say he announces he has cancer, right? And then he announces the next day that he's got stand-up dates, then everybody who's going to show up, and yes, he might book that room three times, four times more. He might run bigger rooms because he has cancer, and now people want to see him for the last time or possibly the last time. That room is going to be different than if he just played it straight, and that's why he wanted to do it for nine fucking years. God, I, I would nonstop. Every joke would be all like, uh, Mr. Happy Pants, he's funny because, you know, I've got, I've got cancer. <laughs> like, that's, that's how every is that, joke would is end. That, is that Norm MacDonald doing your yes, act with yes, cancer? Yes, yes, that is, that is the reality <laughs> I would live in the entire time. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's what, why he's a better comedian. What, what I was heartened to see was uh, on the cesspool of social media that like his approval rating was a hundred percent. Yeah, and I would not have expected that somebody who was as specific as Norm Macdonald and was willfully transgressive as Norm Macdonald was uh, would have had in 2021. Not one niggling naysayer to say, well, let me point out all the ways that Norm MacDonald crossed the line. Which makes me wonder, like, is that is that a decision you make and then hold close to your vest for, for nine whole years or whatever? Or, or, or is that just like, a, no, 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 that doesn't belong in my comedy. I would, and this is just as somebody who followed his career for as long as I can remember knowing of him, uh, 
he seemed like somebody that very much valued the kind of like strong silent type. He he very much valued like he had a whole thing on his most recent net Netflix special where he had this dude who was like a country singer that nobody had ever heard of that was like did like outlaw country and he was like very into the idea of like no like this is real music and he he always like very much lionized the idea of having like an old school talk show that's where all the shows that he did both on on the internet and then on Netflix was very much based on these like you know Johnny Carson people smoking and bullshitting kind of things and for all those archetypes they're all the people that are like yeah I have cancer and you won't know until you come to my funeral like it's a very 1950s my pain is my own kind of shit yeah I, I, I feel like there's no joy on the other side of continuing to talk about this so, so <laughs> wait, let's say we move forward indeed <laughs> all right our next topic is two classic austin questions this is about our boy bryce neshkam castillo because while we were in the uh, uh, uh west coast uh, so was Bryce, or at least in the in, in the Pacific time zone. In the uh, yeah, that's right. I was in the Pacific. I was in uh, I was in Arizona for the past few days, uh, seeing some family, and uh, you know it was nice. It, it it had been you know seven or more years since I've seen any of them, and so it was fun catching up. Right, you know some of the little the little cousins and little nephews had are now <laughs> adults, and the adults are more adults. You yeah, know? and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, but. I I always, I got two questions. I always got the same two questions when people would ask me about like how I like living in Austin. Okay, so this was mostly like, oh, where are you at these days? Austin, Texas. Mm. Oh, what about? Oh. Meh. And yeah. then follow up. Also, meh, meh. exactly. Okay, so the number two question. Uh, number in, in, two in, in number popularity. Two. We're in, ter- in, in terms of popularity. popularity. Uh, number two. Number two was what's it like in Austin, right? What's it like in Austin? What's it like in Austin? What is it like in Austin? What's it like in Austin? And you, you like come up with the like I didn't have a, an answer before I flew out there, and then having to answer that question five, five, yeah. ten times. It's like, oh, it's a, it's a big city in the size of a small city. It's- uh, Big. We're not. City. We're doing his answers now. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're just repeating whatever he said. Yeah, no, that's right. I, I, oh, I think oh, they're okay. plussing it, Justin. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're, we're trying to enhance. It. I, I thought we were just doing the question. I, I thought like, big we city. Yeah. Right. Small okay. town. That's right. And uh, but the number one question. Can you guys guess what the number one question was? The number one question number is one. the number one question. I'm very confused. <laughs> we're helping. I, but, no, I know, but I. All right, never, go ahead. like everybody agrees, we're helping except for you. No, no, I, I agree. We're You're helping. The I just want to yeah. help the right way. I want to help the right way. I thought we were just please? doing the questions that we would do the repeating because he had two big questions and we were repeating try, the first question. Try, then we started repeating other again. things. This time, just 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 for grins. Just join is us. trying to help. Here we go. All right, uh, go ahead. Okay, so the, the number one question. Number, number one, one question. question. Number one. Number one. Asked the most times by the most people was. Wait, hold on. Are we going to repeat his <laughs> question again too, or are we blowing our wad on Who number one? Who knows? The night is young. We're I mean, going we'll find to out. find out. We're going to find out. Out. Yeah. Wait, Bryce, did you do it? <laughs> we're gonna find out. Go. He okay. doesn't have. <laughs> no, no, no. Now we're doing for you. No we're tonight at nine. We're, 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 we're gonna right. find out. We're gonna find it. Tune in at ten. Tune in at 10. <laughs> so the number one question I kept at getting asked was, have you ever been to the San Antonio Riverwalk? What? <laughs> have you ever been to the San Antonio what? Riverwalk? Have you ever been have to the you San Antonio ever, Riverwalk? Have you, have ever you been, been to that stupid ditch in San Antonio? San Antonio Riverwalk, walk, 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 walk. walk. And what's okay. your answer? Uh, maybe, well, maybe, oh, hold on. Before we hear the truth. <laughs> before we hear the truth. The if, truth. If, if, before gentlemen. we hear the truth. Yes. I mean, he should tell him to get fucked, right? He should tell his family to get fucked. Yeah. Like because of this Riverwalk shit? Well, yeah. I mean, that's, that's San Really? San you, could, you can ask about the capital? No, we hate San Antonio. I'm still getting used to being here in Austin. We hate San Antonio. I mean, San Antonio's you, okay. You, no. 
It's fine. They're not. It's not Dallas or Houston. They're, I, mean, I mean, okay, okay, great. They're the least. It's not Abilene. Of you know the non-Austin. Wait, people. what other Texas cities do we like? None. 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 Yeah, none. That's an easy none. question. Uh, none. So we yeah. hate. So we hate every we, we, other. We hate everyone. I think we hate yeah. Texas as much as every other state that's not <laughs> Texas hates Texas, except for Austin. Well, weird way for you to put it, but we'll accept it for yeah. now. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's true, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So just no, I, one I, little city and then I guess like Round Rock and some other shit. Yeah. Like, like that, that in the that greater, we're on the fence on those Austin two. Metroplex. I think we're done here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry that I, <laughs> yeah, I crossed. A, I think this is going to go in a negative cross direction. So maybe we should. <laughs> so wait, hold on. All right. So, so uh, Riverwalk price uh, Riverwalk. Yeah. At, I, I think I've been to Riverwalk we've, with you. Yeah, we've yeah. been together. Yeah, we've yeah. gone for packs and stuff. Pax, we did yeah. a night. We did a night attack. Uh, we did at, at Pack South. At Pack South. Um, Although Brian definitely day tripped it, he rolled right in for it and then rolled out immediately <laughs> afterward, which now I know is based on his long-standing hatred of San Antonio. Sure. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Wait, how am I? You're 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 telling me I'm not dad. How am I dad? How am I dad? How, how I is dad? he dad? Coming up tonight at eight, find out how he's dad. <laughs> that definitely seems like a Jim Belushi show. <laughs> how am I dad? Followed by your local news. Yep. <laughs> Uh, uh, but but I don't know. There's some mariachi or fiesta thing that they do every year and. Someone in the family found out, and now they all want to go, and that's the only thing that yeah, they could think about in Texas. Like really, and not the pearl. Not your your family mm -hmm. is so excited by a mariachi <laughs> gathering oh, no. that they are very excited by the concept of San Antonio Riverwalk. There's so much. I mean, en enough that like that's the second question that they have yeah. when they know that I am in Texas. Not barbecue. Oh. No. Not. Then not again, I guess music, you also no. explaining. That you went there for a video game convention would probably get a similar reaction. So, what's yeah. the river walk like? Yeah, uh, river walk's okay. I mean, there's river. You can walk it, quote unquote, river, yeah. or you can get on a boat. Like there Water. are definitely bigger rivers at Epcot. Oh, well, you're not kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Bryce, what's the next topic? Our next topic is asshole blackjack. Clap, 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 clap. Asshole. Uh, Brett, how much do you know about asshole blackjack? I know nothing about asshole. I know, I know a lot about assholes. I know. <laughs> yeah, a bit. baby. I know. I'm telling you. If you want to know about assholes, <laughs> if you want to know I'm about assholes, if you want to know about assholes, <laughs> asshole one. 800 555 <laughs> asshole starfish <laughs> project starfish uh are are you aware brett of the quote unquote right way to play blackjack i've heard that there is one yeah and 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 what in general are the rules uh the draw the cars are drawn and you got to get 21 and if so, you without going over but so, if you do you can also do a split oh uh, this is going to go too long th those yeah. those are the you rules of yeah. the game there is also a thing called basic strategy and basic strategy effectively lays out the numbers of based on what you have and what the dealer has yes you should do a certain thing and there are some times when people come in to play blackjack that they are very 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 uh, uh, particular that everybody be playing basic strategy because if you take or don't take a card that you should be taking, then that mess affects it up. them and the card that they would get, and that affects their money. Sure. Right. So, um, here's the thing: basic strategy is a hundred percent right in the long term. New sentence: the long term implies you'll play. A long time. Yeah. What if you only want to play an hour, hour and a half, two hours? Then you play asshole blackjack? Yeah. Well, uh, no. Nobody needs to play asshole blackjack, okay? <laughs> Brian enjoys playing asshole blackjack because Brian is very, very good at playing asshole blackjack. Uh -huh. Because Brian has the same goals while playing blackjack 
that a suicide bomber has. <laughs> oh, God. There is going to be there's going to be explosive actions taken. He has a willful disregard of everybody around him. Wow. And he hopes he gets rewarded in the hereafter. So, that is exactly Brian's goal when he sits down to play asshole blackjack. Let's say hypothetically the dealer has a 6 showing, which would imply that most likely they have a 16 and then yeah, with looking at a 16, you're looking at your hand, which is two queens. The sensible thing to do would be to do what? Stick. To stick. Oh, to no, stay. Split. Stay. You, you, stay. You, stay no, or no, split. No, you don't split. Don't That's split. a winning hand. You take okay. your money. Yeah, yeah, sure. Take the money. <laughs> so if you split, then that's asshole blackjack. Yeah. Well, especially yeah. because they deal you to... Right, couple of two. So then that's screwed. Now, now oh. you have you have two twelves. You well, and the one a thing winning you... hand. You had a winning hand in twenty. Yeah. Now you have two losing hands of twelve. What's the dumbest thing you can do? Uh, stick. No, double down. Double down. So he could then double bet down. another. And so, by the way, when you split, and this is a very key part of this, is that each thing that he is talking about. He is then betting another bet equal to the first bet he made. So Got let's it. say, theoretically, he's betting $25 a hand, which he definitely was in this case. Uh, when he splits, he's now betting $50 a hand. Right. And now he went from winning with 25 to losing, losing with 50. two yeah. but, but to split uh, uh, $25 Trumps. bets. And so now he's doubling down, meaning he's betting yet another 25 on each hand. So it's $50 a hand, mm -hmm. and then he gets whatever he gets on either on either split. Uh, look, long story short, uh, I have so much... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, 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 hold on, hold on. We're not long storying short this. Oh, okay. This happens in three phases. <laughs> we show up, it's me, Ryan, and uh, uh, Big Al, Ali Spagnola. She shows up. We're all at this blackjack table. Alex Bagnola has no idea how to play blackjack. So Brian is simultaneously doing two things. He is being very generous, helpful, big brother to Allie and myself, who are not great blackjack players, sure. and advising us what the smart thing to do is. Yes. And at which point, and he's doing that in his regular Brian voice, at which point he switches into a character. And when I say this is a character, I mean that he is theater projecting to as far as he can oh, into this casino. Asshole. And so, again, this is asshole blackjack with Brian Brushwood. <laughs> so he gets a shitty hand. And we are talking about the classic, I, and I've seen Brian do this exact thing, where he gets the classic Austin Powers, uh, like, you know, five. And he's like, I'll stay. Yeah. And then he's like, I suggest you hit, sir. Like, I also like to live dangerously. Yeah. That's what he does. He's just making the worst decisions possible. Except instead of having the Austin Powers uh, uh, voice, he just goes, oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that the only thing I could do is to split these threes. Yeah. <laughs> Dealer, can you hear me? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so he goes, he goes from like, like, oh no, 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 you should stay, you should stay. Ah, actually, no, no, you gotta hit, you gotta hit on that one, you gotta they hit actually, on that one. They actually, and then, they, and then they, they call him. over the pit boss oh. to, to confirm that I'm serious about what I'm doing. Yeah. Yes, no, I mean, repeatedly, repeatedly, because here's the other thing that goes that makes an already too messant Brian to like a a. A, a, a shuddering fucking oil derrick ready to blow <laughs> is when the fucking dealer looks at him and God bless all these women. English are not their first language, <laughs> but they just look him dead in the eye and they are terrified because it's their job on the line. If somebody's irresponsibly gambling because they're drunk, like then they have to call over a pit boss to like oh remove my. them. But if Brian is, is, theatrically like poncing around oh, of like like oh my i do believe i need to double down on this three that like, sounds nothing like the way i talked okay. i talked like okay. um, and yes that's right i wish to double down on 16 i know you've not seen such a thing since before your mother was knee high to an a 
uh, yeah, an ant. An ant. No, no, I don't no. know. You got it. Uh, but this is, this is the moment that gets Brian super, super excited. Is when, in their second language, these dealers look him right in the eye and say, no, 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 no. You should not. <laughs> and then he goes, oh, yes, ma'am. I must. <laughs> <laughs> And pushes in. And now normally, when asshole blackjack happens, which I have been privileged to be at many, many in occurrences, it's mostly just Brian burning through money so fast that he can't even get a drink at the table. The game is quite intentionally to set fire to the money so fast that we just GTFO and go. Yes. However, statistically speaking, sooner or later... You end up winning a few. <laughs> the first table that we're at, Brian walks with $200. Mm. The second table that we are at, Brian walks with $300. Mm. Yes. And the final table that we walk out is $700 that he walks with <laughs> on this table playing the shittiest blackjack intentionally that he possibly can. No, no, no. Go up. Go go up. Go up. Go up and flash his cash. Go up yeah, and flash no, his we, cash. We're, we're he's, in he's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And by the way, and by the way, and by the way, no, 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 Brian. Uh, so take a few steps back. Yeah, yeah a few steps back fast. for the light. Uh, uh, Brian, <laughs> Brian uh, then, of course, goes and says uh, to the counters at the cash counter, please change all of these hundreds to 20s. Because <laughs> I, I can't fucking change hundreds in Austin. I need them all in 20s. <laughs> But here's the here's the, the the big climactic moment. The climactic moment is we're at the final table, and uh, Brian has actually done shitty. He has he has burnt through a couple hundred dollars, uh, and now all of a sudden he's on a run. But we're coming to the end of when we need to get the fuck out, and so he uh, has about hundred and fifty dollars, and he uh, he just pushes it in, and in his voice, in his theatrical voice, just goes. One more modest wager. <laughs> and modest wager being 150, literally 150, everything 150, I have. 150, everything he has. Yeah. Plays the, the hand shittily. He fucking wins. Second, so now <laughs> he wins. Has, wins. Then has double that stack. Goes, one more <laughs> modest wager. <laughs> and this time he gets fucking cards he can split. So he splits the fucking cards. Oh, He's got to pull more money out of his pocket. He's betting in cash for this fucking big split. And he fucking wins. He <laughs> splits on bullshit and he wins again. And so now I'm looking at him and I'm like, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. <laughs> and he looks right back, and back me in the eye and goes, one more <laughs> modest wager. At which point you realize something that he's got a couple hundred dollar chips, but because of how Vegas regulations are, you have to stack them all in one pile. So he's got this leaning tower of pizza of chips, oh, that, like with this, hundreds it was at the this bottom. Tall. It and was this tall. This gigantic one more modest <laughs> wager puts it all in, and this motherfucker he gets. Uh, I think it was twenty, and he flashes it to me, and I'm like, "You wouldn't." And he's like, oh, "I won't." <laughs> and he just wins the hand, takes his money, and that is asshole blackjack. Oh. Uh, and to Scoop and Nova Girl in the chat, of course this was at the Orleans. <laughs> yes, which, by the way, course. is the other real quick funny thing about this, which is that the people that are pissed off the most about Asshole Blackjack are the, and this is an intentional thing by Brian, is he scouts these tables to find the person who's taking the Blackjack value the most conscious. serious. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so there was, the first table we were at, there's a guy with just gigantic chip farm like right in front of him and he's drinking tea and he's got a backwards hat and he's like like very serious blackjack man and all of a sudden fucking a uh, uh, matt berry fucking rolls in and starts oh. pushing in chips on fucking <laughs> bullshit and initially the guy's like ah, whatever i'll wait him out but nothing is funnier than when they give up and indeed at a certain point he is just so tired of brian Hitting on One bullshit cards and splitting wager. shit. One more modest <laughs> wager. I mean, you're the baby, not me. Here we go. And the guy is just like, 
uh, gets go. colored all of his chips up, gets the fuck off the table. <laughs> uh, so really, asshole Blackjack Man is as much of a hero as all of us. Uh, <laughs> and also, this was all happening on 9 11. Yeah. Uh, and if you would like to support asshole Blackjack Man, yes. <laughs> then we suggest you head on over to uh, uh, patreon.com slash great night. Indeed. Uh, head on over there right now. Uh, I'll tell you what, we've actually had a really great run of the Patreon only episodes that have happened. Uh, uh, we had the full show that you could hear of uh, uh, Brian and I doing most uh, uh, horrible uh, uh, magician stories. Oh. Uh, uh, that was a fine show, sir. It was a great show. Uh, the All Set Up Magician is there right now. And by the way, if you become a patron, you can just get all that shit right now. Like yep. all the back uh, shit you can get, as well as all the new stuff. Uh, please head over there right now. Thank you to everybody who has supported us. Uh, Patreon.com slash great night. Hells yeah. Bryce. Hello. Do you have a game for us? Well, it's, a, it's not exactly a game, but we've certainly done it plenty of times before. Uh, this is actually, I, we hadn't done this at all this year, so it's time to welcome in 2021's first Monster Mac! Oh! I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad we burnt this in uh, two weeks before October. Well, I had to do it while it was summer because we are doing Jingle Hells! We will be uh, putting pitting together 16 competitors to fight it out for the ult the title of ultimate Christmas character. So we've got a bracket set up with, uh, uh, with 16. Wait a minute. Pause this. Why did we have to do this during the summer? Cause it's like a, it's like a Christmas in July sort of thing. But, but it's September. But it's September. <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna be jingoism. So wait, hold on, you're it's telling me- It's gonna be jingoism. It's, yeah, but it's in the exact middle point between July 4th and Christmas is when we needed to do the thing that would either work on July 4th or Christmas. Are you the one like asking Christmas. why the, the, the Christmas wrapping paper happens to match the Christmas wrapping paper from the rest of the family? What's I, happening here? Am I the one asking about the Christmas wrapping paper? <laughs> Coming wrapping up tonight paper. at 10, are you the one asking about Christmas paper matching the wrapping? <laughs> uh, yes. All right. Let's the go. answer let's go. just may surprise you. Now, <laughs> we did do one sort of change, a little bit of modification here. Uh, uh, our competitors have sent in uh, uh, their uh, predictions for who will be the ultimate Christmas character. And so whoever's character gets eliminated first... Uh, will be our loser this game. We do have a, a, a punishment, don't we, Brett? Uh, do, uh, uh, just the, pre the punishment for I'll get you. I'll get you their fix. But, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna think, I was gonna yeah but, uh, uh, did, were we going to do punishments for yes, this one? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, was it the pop and lock thing? Sure. What is that? That is where uh, one <laughs> does pop the 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 loser. The loser. I'm realizing do... that there were some holes in our pre-show. Yes, was, uh, so yeah. I'm going to be doing. A, I'm realizing a, how much more I enjoy it this way. To do a pop and <laughs> lock with no music. Thing. A That's pop and lock with no music for. Pop and lock with absolutely no music. And for like 30 seconds or something. Yes, maybe. 30 Good seconds. That's 30 seconds. 30 pop second and pop and lock, oh. lock with no While music. While maintaining eye contact to the camera. Yes. Okay. All right. So. Uh, let's and, and this one's going to be weird because, well, here, uh, Bryce, you explain it. Yeah, so we've, uh, I've ranked and seeded uh, 60, well, <laughs> I've uh, given seeds, to, I've ranked. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. I've got hoes. <laughs> I've got hoes that I've given 16 <laughs> seeds to. <laughs> All right, no, for real. You're giving seeds bah, to bah, 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 bah. 16 is such a low seed number, too. Um, Damn. So, oh, wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Some people do the millions. Um, so, <laughs> so I mean, I, like sultans. <laughs> What? No, never. Okay. Uh, so, so <laughs> Genghis Khan. I've ranked the. Uh, yeah, six... Genghis Khan gave like a million seeds. <laughs> so, uh, I've ranked sixteen Christmas characters by uh, uh, physical strength. So that's yeah. how their physical, how their seating is set up. And so we've got a bunch of rounds of uh, uh, face-offs. There'll be one-on-one -on -one contests with uh, randomly selected challenges that our characters will have to do. So, for example, we've got our first challenge here in the monster match. Oh. Coming up in round, oh. round one. Wait, you know, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Let, 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 let's also explain this. Prior to the show, Brian and I, both secretly and independently, selected who we believed would win the entire 
event. Yep. So actually, Brian did not. Brian, can you text me yours really quick? I meant to. I meant Here. to the show. I just did. Beep. <laughs> boop. Boop. Beep, boop, boop. Can you actually do it? I'll explain the because like we need to do it for the popping and locking. So I've sent them the unseated list of characters yeah. that are involved. The 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 unseated list, and so the one that goes the farthest will win of our secretly selected uh, characters, and then uh, uh, the one that loses, obviously, in the middle of all this, will have to pop and lock for 30 unmusicaled seconds. While staring at the camera. Whilst staring at the camera. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is the thing that we will have to do here uh, on the Great Night Show. Yeah. Oh, my. The silliest thing I could do would be to send in my Bryce pick. That's right. Uh, all right. So uh, we've got our first matchup here. Um, the monster match. Oh. Uh, first up, it's Clarence Oddbody from It's a Wonderful Life up against Frosty the Snowman. And their challenge is to open a bottle of champagne at New Year's Eve. Who's going to uh, uh, knock it out of the park? With opening a so, bottle all right, of champagne. So, so Clarence, this is Clarence, actually... Clarence, Clarence, open, open this bottle of champagne on New Year's Eve. I don't think Clarence is going to be like uh, uppity about uh, 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 booze or any of that. He'd be like, well, of course, let's have a party. Uh, he I, is an angel. Yeah. So there's a question of whether or not he really exists physically. I mean, he exists. I mean, like, angels in the outfield had to go through a lot of fucking shit to affect that baseball game. They couldn't just punch somebody in the face. I would trust him before I would trust a snowman to open my beer. Now, that's true. But let's say that, that snow's a little packed in, right? You can skid on hard snow. Hard snow could open up a, a bottle of champagne. No, I'm still sticking with Clarence. Good now, old, good old. Wait, Claire, hold on, hold on. Claire, All right, you Claire, look. Claire, Clary, Claire, Claire. I'm, I'm on your side in general, yeah. especially because Clarence was played by a human actor, right. who almost certainly <laughs> who opened a hands. bottle of champagne right. in his life, yeah. right? But if we're literally just going with the canon here, we have no idea whether or not angels have any kind of physical dexterity, and we at least know, oh, no, even no. if it's poor. We the, know the they have dexterity, dexterity because they, they got them to win the World Series that one time. No, again. Angels in the outfield. I literally just said that they had to go through a lot of shit, though. They okay. couldn't just punch somebody or hit the ball themselves. They had to, like, like blow in people's ears and stuff I'm, like now that. Now, I will say, I will say, uh, Clarence is the number one seed. Frosty is the number 16 seed. If you guys don't remember the story of Frosty, kids bring him to life, and then they have to rescue him because he can't do anything except melt. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Let's go with Clarence. Yeah. They're going to go with Clarence. All right. Yeah. There you go. Your, your round one winner is Clarence Oddbody from It's a Wonderful Life. Oh. 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 It's oh. time for mat round, oh. uh, match oh. two, round one. <laughs> it's like a rap match two, round one. What? 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 Uh -huh. what? Uh, first what? up. Our what? Door. What? 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 Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is going great. First, I, I keep doing this all night long. I know. First up is our number eight seed. You know from Rocky the Re uh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. It's Bumble the Yeti up against the number nine seed from the movie Elf. It's Buddy the Elf, and their challenge is to sing holiday carols. Who will win in the challenge of singing holiday carols? I gotta it's think. Got the Elf. All it's got to think Elf. Right? Yeah. I mean, I think he. I mean, Jesus. He does like a soulful rendition with Zoe Deschanel in like a like a like a public restroom. Like, yeah. like that shower scene. The shower scene, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fucking gotta be Elf. Slam dunk. With the, without even a cowbell. No. Yeah. No cowbell needed. Not for Buddy. You sit on the throne of lies. There we go. That's a classic Ooh. buddy thing. All right, there you go. Sounds pretty easy. All right, let's uh, put it in the books. That's now. All right, buddy Bryce. No, none of our picks have been eliminated yet. Uh, correct. Correct. So We're, you you have to tell us when one of our picks have been eliminated. All right, I will. I will, I will do that. Let's go into round uh, matchup three and round one here. The number four from the year without Santa. It's the Heat Miser up against the number 
uh, 13 seed from A Christmas Story. It's Ralphie Parker, and their challenge is a hot dog eating contest. Gentlemen, who is going to be the winner of this hot dog eating contest? Is it Heat Miser or Ralphie? Um. All right. So uh, obviously, Ralphie is a very hungry young boy. He's fat. Is he fat? No. So fat. I think he's just maybe a little, little, little thick with two C's. Your Honor, <laughs> he's a could, child. Also, could, could we look very close at an up close photo of Ralphie, please? Uh, sure. Uh, 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 of of uh, from the time from in, from from, yeah. from a Christmas yep, story. Yep, the character. Yep, yep, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Just just real close in. Okay, you might need Let to see that. Also, yeah. he was in uh, he was in uh, Elf. Was he? Yep. Ralphie was. Yes, he was. Oh shit. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I don't think he's. I don't. I think he might. He might have a. He might have a fucking. He just looks fat like a ass. kid. He yeah, just a kid. Okay. Why do you think he was fat? Probably because he's real fat. <laughs> <laughs> like in real life. Yeah, he's real. In fat. your brain. Super fat. No. A fat kid. Yeah. Doesn't look fat though. Factory. Factory kid. No. Like he's like, like 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 Dickensian like. Play, sir. Like factory kid, I mean, sorry. What's the other option? Heat miser. Heat heat miser from yeah. the year without uh, Santa. That, that dude burns calories. Yeah, but literally. could could do, could he do, could do he, he literally burn, one who burns calories or the one who but retains? It's an eating them. contest. Why are you wiggling your hips on one who retains calories? That's <laughs> bizarre. Because that's my pick. You're going with Ralphie and not the supernatural creature who could probably just burn. He could just burn hot dogs on his head. What's the question again? Uh, hot who dog who would win contest. in the in the challenge between Heat Miser and Ralphie Parker in a hot dog eating eating contest? Eating. So he can put it in not his mouth burning. and it would and it would not burn burning. up immediately. Not burning. Eating. Yes. I mean. They're eventually burnt mm. in our bodies. Why are you sensually <laughs> moving your head? Mm. Mm. I swear to God. Mm. I'm, I'm not going to do a show if you mm. skip lunch. <laughs> mm. All right. Oh, we whatever. need it. We need Ralphie, okay, so, Ralphie. Ralphie. Are, are you guys in agreement? I mean, yes. if you guys tie, yes. I think yes. you'll be the tiebreaker. Okay. You're going to be Ralphie. Yeah. All right. There we go. Congrats to Ralphie. That's matchup number three. Matchup four. Uh, the number five seed from a nightmare, uh, uh, the nightmare before Christmas, it's Oogie Boogie versus the number 12 seed Snoopy. Their challenge, destroy the Death Star. Oh, okay. all right. Oogie Boogie Man, uh, 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 the latest, or not the latest, but but a, a, a latter edition of the long line of uh, very weird camp Disney singing villains. Uh Meanwhile, and, and you have Snoopy. The, the, the pilot of the Sop with Camel, uh, somebody who's going to take on that the Red is, Baron. Well, well, yeah, exactly, right? Like, so, so are we including his pilot alter ego? Because he always denied that he was the same person, right? I mean, you can name him whatever he wants, but let's face it, I think Snoopy's got the goods, right? But he's Mr. Oogie Boogie. He's the Oogie Boogie man. He's made of bugs, Brian. He's certainly more plotting than Snoopy is. I, I think Oogie Boogie Man will come to the idea of like, well, I gotta kill the Death Star before Snoopy would like stop dancing with his two feet coming off the ground and be like, I need to end the Imperial Empire. I mean, should should we take this one out to the audience or? Yeah. Go ahead, tiebreaker. All right. We need a tiebreaker. Uh, uh, Brett, where are Brett? you at? Uh, I'm right here. Uh, uh, this is a, this is actually a tough one because I would think that Snoopy would be able to shoot down the, uh, down the, the port and make the shot. He in, would in, make the shot. In an open cabin plane. I mean. In space. He, That's well, what he'd be able to do. But the, if we're going to go that deep. Yeah. We but are. Then the Oogie it's man, a monster match. Is nobody else taking this thing fucking seriously? I'm trying to. Let go. And then there's the Oogie Boogie Man. It'd probably be the Oogie Boogie Man. He's yeah. made it. Yeah. Yeah. Name one goddamn thing Oogie the Oogie Boogie, Boogie, Boogie Man has Man. ever done. Full stop. I Name think, anything. I anything at all. He eats people. Yeah. I think he eats yeah, and tortures he, people. He ate yeah, people. he eats and tortures people. <laughs> 
Brian's unimpressed. You know, yeah. and he puts bugs in the system. So yeah, <sighs> he would actually just go to the the emperor and just be like, "I don't think you should blow this up." And the emperor would be like, "Okay, sure." Yeah, you're terrified. Oh, yeah, Never mind. That. Yeah. All right. All right. There we go. That's matchup four. Uh, and it's who won that? This new Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie. You did. All right. Matchup number five. The number two seed. You know her from Frozen. It's Elsa. Versus the number 15 seed from South Park. It's Mr. Hanky. Their oh. challenge. I saw I saw this really funny thing on Reddit where like there was uh, people that was like Disney characters in their modern day settings. And it was like Mulan with like a, a mask in a very like smog filled Shanghai. And uh, one of them was Elsa lying very sad and crying on like a, a broken piece of like the Antarctic or whatever. And the comment under it was like, like, what's that lazy bitch doing? Just make more ice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And their challenge is to solve a Mikey quiz. Who's going to do better on a Ooh. Mikey quiz? Is it Elsa or Mr. Hanky? By the way, shout out to Mikey for uh, uh, getting back into his own place. I know he's still dealing with a bunch of health stuff, but uh, please clip this. Send this to Mikey. We love, 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 love Mikey. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, say this much. Only one of the two has their shits about them. Huh. <laughs> To solve a Mikey quiz. I mean, one of them seems a little bit more three-dimensional as a character. Yeah, Mr. Hanky definitely is. I mean, I, I'm going to actually leave this to you, mostly because I've never seen Frozen the entire way through, and you have three daughters, which means you've seen it Every infinite time. times. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, will, I will leave it to you. I've certainly seen Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh more than I have uh, frozen. So I, I'll I have also seen Mr. Hanky like explain the circle of poo to his family and all of that stuff. Mr. Hanky for the win. All right, there you go, Mr. Hanky, the number fifteen seed. That's an upset. That's an upset. All right, matchup six. The numbers. I mean, if the challenge was making ice cubes, like you know, we probably would have went with Elsa. Yeah. Number it's six. It's not. It's not. Oh, they're, now they're both sh now they're both oh, shimmy shaking. No. <laughs> the number <laughs> the number seven seed Krampus, you know him, you love him, up against the number ten seed Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Their challenge is a one on one bar fight. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Why would you put Rudolph in that situation? Well, that is the bracket like did Godzilla it. versus uh, Rud uh, uh, the Bambi. That is like Alabama versus ITT Tech. Like this is. <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> I, 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 I would use the metaphor of, of, of any of us versus somebody with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> like, still bad. Bad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, Krampus is going to whip yeah. whip that red nose ass. Krampus is going to cram this. going to beat that ass. Cram uh, dude, he's been kidnapping German children. Like, oh. do you know how efficient German children are? <laughs> like, I'll bet you they know exactly the escape routes and shit like that, and yet still Krampus gets him. Like, mm. that motherfucker is is efficient. I'll bet Krampus even has, like, the proper permits the entire oh, way. Oh, my God, Like, yeah. he explains very patiently. Yeah. He's like, this is why you would die. No, yeah. He, well, he goes, like, in November. Yes. And he, like, applies. And, yes. And then nobody at City Hall's, like, into it, but they have to do it because he has the right paperwork. And he's like, on time. If you see, I have a check uh, yep. made out to the City Hall. I don't know why I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah. This is Krampus. <laughs> I'm Krampus. Krampus. I have all my paperwork filled out. Very, yes. I'm going it's, to film this me, on Instagram. Krampus. They are not I complying. They are Krampus. not complying. I, I give back rub to Krampus. You number one Krampus. Oh, you're the best Krampus. Wait, who are you? I'm the number two Krampus. I <laughs> rub back a number one. That's right. You number one Krampus. Let's get him. Let's get him. What are we getting? I don't uh, even know. It doesn't <laughs> matter. I believe in you. You know, you know, you know. I believe in you. You know, number, no, number you're, two, you're number two, you're about Krampus. To explain every time, I'm just, every time. I'm just saying. We, I'm, just say saying you, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You don't have to explain. I'm just saying. Krampus. Your accent is all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so even know Krampus. where this is going. I guess. I guess this is what happens with Krampuses. <laughs> yes. So. All right. Matchup seven. 
This is a big one. The number three seed, Jack Frost from the stop motion film versus the number 14 seed, that old green goblin, the Grinch. Their challenge, a one-on-one -on -one soccer match, one-on-one -on -one footy for the green man and the frost man. Gotta be Grinch. Oh, Gotta be on. Grinch. Hold on, hold on. Grinch made it through the entire city of Whoville yeah, but... to steal all those packages. And he didn't just do it breaking through the front door. He was like sliding like a snake. That's a natural athlete. Soccer is a game with rules, my friend. And yeah. whistles and referees. I mean, and uh and Grinch made audiences. it. Grinch made it through you see Ted Lasso. I have seen Ted Lasso. <laughs> okay. Yes. Well then now explain yourself. <laughs> Season two's a disappointment, and the Grinch wins in a soccer match. Oof. Oh, oh. Wow. Real Roy Kent over here. <laughs> uh, no. Wait, what, what, what about Jack Frost makes you think he can win a soccer match? I mean, that I, motherfucker's I, gonna freeze the goddamn ball every, every time he touches it. Okay, I know two Jack Frosts. One is, is, is Martin Short, and the other is Batman. Okay. I win. <laughs> In naming Jack Frost, yes. Yes. So why do you think he would win in a soccer match? Because who's he up against? The Grinch in a one-on-one -on -one soccer match. Yeah. Again, the natural Grinch. fucking athlete. Yeah. His entire backstory is that he, he sled dogged some shit down to Whoville and then stole all the baggages before the fucking morning, only got caught by one Cindy Lou Who, and then vamos, and then it was only on his own heart that he brought all that shit back. What about the story you just told sounded like a winning game? It sounded to me like a loser who go, who, who had no plan, who was just jelly, goes how, downstairs. How tired would you be if you tried to steal every package in Austin? How tired? Yeah, would that, would that be a non-athletic achievement or an athletic achievement to steal every package from every uh, Christmas tree in Austin? It depends. Oh, oh, you could do that lazily in one night? Yes, I can. How? Reddit gold. <laughs> Reddit gold? Yeah. How would that happen? I would buy a lot of Reddit gold. <laughs> and the Reddit gold would steal the packages? I don't know. They'll all give me the karma. Grinch it, it'll be Get out of here. Get the Come fuck on. out of here. <laughs> fuck out of here. F-O-H. All right. That's match seven. And the last match in round one, the number six seed from the classic Christmas movie, John McClane from Die Hard versus the 11 seed. That's Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. Oh, this is good. What, what is their challenge? Uh, their challenge. Uh, oh, uh, did we, we did. Did we do? Oh, no. Did I skip one? Oh, no. Ah, OK. Uh, oh, yes. No, we didn't. I'm good. Uh, all right. Their challenge uh, is. Uh, to make barbecue. Who's going to make the best of barbecue? Is it Kevin McAllister or John McLean? Do you want to do the, the impression or should I? <clears throat> ring, ring. Hey, what's up? Hey. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Why did you call me? <laughs> because now I know that you run a barbecue joint. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, I do. I run a barbecue joint. I always answer the phone with my impression of John McClane. <laughs> that's why we're brothers. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, that's me. I do my impression of my brother, John McClane. It's me, Don McClane. <laughs> All right, the singer of American Pie. <laughs> Listen, Don. I yeah. Know you, I know you ain't got a lot of residual checks since that, that album nope, dropped. No, certainly not a thing that gets played in every movie about the 60s. Okay, listen, you know what time of year it is, right? Uh, Yep. Anyway, give, <laughs> give me... Barbecue time, baby. <laughs> That's barbecue season for me. I love barbecuing. Get, get, uh, give I, me love, I love cooking ribs give, and, and brisket. Give, give me some barbecue. chicken. Give me some barbecue. Wait a minute. Is it because you suck shit at barbecuing like I've always known our entire life as McLean brothers? Okay. Every year we have the same argument. Yes, that's the reason, air quotes, I'm calling you right now. Wink. 
Uh, okay, well, why don't you come down to the coast, have a few laughs, get some barbecue? <laughs> uh, would much rather you just showed up with a lot of barbecue right now. Okay, I'll fly to New York where you're a police officer and deliver barbecue no, to you. I'm, I'm here in Austin, Texas. That's why I need you're to You're in Austin, hustle. Texas? Yeah, Jesus. On over. I don't think that's ever been a place canonically that John McClane has oh. been. You certainly can get plenty of barbecue there as well, John. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, somebody is this a party line? Oh, sorry, this is the FBI. <laughs> sorry, we're not supposed to usually talk on these no, things. Sorry, but... no, no, no. <laughs> it's our sister, Shirley. <laughs> Shirley McClay, that's right. Just, sure. you might wanna... All right. Look, are you guys going to give me my fucking barbecue or no? Uh, yeah, no, we're into it. So we're just establishing for the game that you're bad at making barbecue. And that's yes. why. Yeah. But I've got you two on my that's team. That's fine. Good we're, old Shirley. We're all converging. Other me. Shirley's in New York. Yeah. I'm in LA. We're converging in yeah. Austin with barbecue. Yeah. Why don't you sign off with your trademark catchphrase? Oh, I picked the wrong day for a Thursday, click. <laughs> I feel very confused where we ended on that scene. But I think he's saying that, that, that John McClane is bad at making barbecue. That's why he needs to rely on his but, brother. But, but he's well connected. Yeah. And meanwhile, Kevin would just play some like, you know, uh, uh, run, run Rudolph and, and, and just be like flipping ribs because he really wants that instead of pizza. Yeah. So Although the, we've never seen him eat barbecue in either of the Home Alone movies. Yeah. yeah. Although you did meet uh, a homeboy. Yeah. No, he definitely ate human flesh. Did, uh, did he eat barbecue while he was here? Uh, he ate human flesh. So if we want to go flesh. with that, oh, that's okay. canon. Sorry. So <laughs> <laughs> let's say Kevin McAllister. Okay. Yeah. We're going to say Kevin McAllister. Wait. Go with the kid. Okay. That's fine. You fucking just <laughs> did like a five minute improv setting that it. up. It's <laughs> All right, Kevin McAllister. That's that's our first round of uh, of matchups. Uh, we have a so no one's been eliminated. Uh, the only person who has been is the person we forgot to include in this game, which was Corey, who also made a secret prediction. His uh, his prediction of Elsa uh, that she would uh, win, and it's not close. Was, All right, come up here then. Was big come wrong. Up here, oh. Corey's got a pop and lock. It's not close. She she's a god. Uh, yeah, it's not close. Pop and lock, motherfucker. Yeah, Go. She, she's a god. Pop and lock. Right, no. You pop and lock for 30 you seconds. Lost. The next you one. lost. I don't know what's happening. I just... You're, you, <laughs> you have to pop and lock for 30 unbroken seconds. Yes. <laughs> what the? <laughs> uh, oh, no, no, no. No. You. You. Yeah. You oh. of all people need put, to get up here right now. Put a, put a, put a pin in this. Uh, yeah, Do yeah. not put a pin in this. <laughs> put your ass up here on this stage and pop and lock for 30 <laughs> seconds. Because... Everybody who made a guess when their shit is wrong, mm. they got a pop and lock. Okay. Come on up. Come on. Oh, he's yeah, asking you never for seen breaking? No, breaking two, Electric game. Boogaloo? I watch Elsa all day long with oh, my daughter. No. I, I can't believe I'm watching Justin Corey, fall for I'm this. I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. Justin's. No, no, no. Play, play some fucking popping and locking. Play some popping and locking so I'll, this motherfucker can see it. I'll play uh, a little bit of the monster. Because I got to lose for me to pop and lock. This is the point of this. We have we have punishment so people can be punished. Confused. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm confused. I wasn't. It it, it yeah. wasn't. I wasn't. Yeah, I'm sorry. But if that's you weren't the... here for the beginning. I apologize. Yeah. All right. Well, I will pop and lock. All right. There you go. Thirty seconds. Well. Keep going. All right. Yeah. Keep I don't know what it. I'm doing. Perfect. Keep doing it. I got it. Perfect. All right. Well, while you do it. that, I'll set up. You got it. A round two. Keep going. Come in the middle. Yeah. There we go. The matchup, yeah. matchup number nine for the evening. Uh, the, it's the number one seed, Clarence Oddbody, versus the number nine seed, Buddy the Elf. And their challenge is bump, 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 pumpkin carving. Pumpkin, pumpkin carving. Pumpkin carving. That's not popping and locking. Oh my goodness. Okay. Thank you very much, Corey. Thank you, Corey. Everybody, round of applause to Corey. <laughs> Pumpkin carving, pumpkin carving. I, all right. So now, now I, I feel like now you're with me that in in both situations we had a problem with dexterity and opening a champagne bottle. Here, pumpkin carving, one clearly has hands, the other 
is an angel for whom we don't know their physical dexterity. Yeah, plus on top of that, it's an angel who's going to be like crafting a totem of 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 an evil thing. What? Mm. Claire and Are Todd pumpkins body? evil? Yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, when's the last time you saw an angel make a jack o' lantern? When's the last time you saw the fuck an angel win the American League? Like, like they do weird shit. Like, uh, like if there was an orphan that was like, I really want m my dead dad really wanted to cough this jack o' lantern. Like, I'll bet you some angel would show up and be like, Oh, I'll do it. I'm Tony Danza in some movie for Lifetime. <laughs> you know what? You got me. <laughs> Buddy. No, no, I'm with Buddy. I'm with Buddy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Fuck it. All right, no, you want to know Vote. You are just I'm in, I'm voting. In, I'm, in, I'm, into, I'm into Tony Danza. Uh, let's go to the tiebreaker. All right, Brett. Okay, so uh, let's break it down. First of all, if there is an angel that's carving a pumpkin, it's going to be on Lucifer. All right, that's just going to happen. Mm. I'm, I'm in a deal. I know he's he's carved a pumpkin. But more importantly... Uh, the show Lucifer? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Buddy the Elf, this would be a thing that he would love to do. Even yeah. though it's so, not a Christmas activity, he, it is a Christmas Halloween. His decorations are legit. So he's got to be also tertiarily good at pumpkin. I, I feel like there is like a script for Elf 2 that opens with him carving a pumpkin. A really awesome and then, pumpkin. And then doing like being... Like super extra on Thanksgiving, so we can get to the big Christmas. Palace. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, uh, one more time. That's Buddy. <laughs> yes. Is that yeah. okay? <laughs> I mean, does anyone else want to spec write a Lifetime movie? <laughs> All right. There we go. That's a uh, number nine matchup ten here in round two. The number thirteen seed Ralphie Parker up against Oogie Boogie from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Their challenge. Rob a convenience store. Oh. <laughs> Who's going to do a better job robbing that convenience store? Is it going to be Ralphie or Oogie Boogie? It's got to be Oogie Boogie. Right? I think so, too. Yeah, Because right. even if you get shot, a bunch of roaches are going to crawl out of him and fucking rip off the convenience store. Plus, also, it's like all he has to do is shout out, like, I'm black underneath all this. <laughs> Oogie boogie. <laughs> All right, oogie boogie. Thank you. Uh, we'll just look we'll, we'll at the guys off screen for a few seconds here. All right. Uh, sometimes you know, you know they say start with the show stop. Sometimes it's good to put it to this. Very good. All right, number eleven, the number fifteen seed. That would make him more effective at Robin. I mean. It depends on how <laughs> racist the local community is. So they would just give up? I, I would hope they would be not racist at all. I don't think that this is an issue of racism. This is just you declaring a thing. I, 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 I am declaring. And obviously if it was Mr. Oogie Boogie, he'd sing it. <laughs> how would that sound? I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Smart man. Uh, Smart man. You can see. Uh, Match 11. Everybody's got limits. <laughs> <laughs> Match 11, number 15. It's Mr. Hanky from South Park against the number seven seed, the Krampus, and their challenge. Thumb wrestling. Thumb wrestling for the Krampus. Both and have thumbs. Mr. Hanky does have arms. Uh, Krampus, again, I kind of feel like is he's that dude here. Feel like of the two, one's more willing to play dirty. You are dumb. Stop it. You're going <laughs> what? Mr. Hanky. What? The Christmas poo. Yeah. He loves me. I love you. Yeah. You're poor vicarious face. I love you. you. Yeah, he Even. loves you. Yeah. If you're a piece of poo. Yeah. Uh, that's not the line. What is it? I, I don't know. Oh. Okay. Well, then I guess it's a mystery. <laughs> uh, what are you guys feeling? Who, who? I mean, is it? <laughs> I would say Krampus. Justin would say Krampus. Like if we're if we're playing like 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 one two thumb three wrestling. four, I declare a thumb war. I, I feel like Krampus has more dexterity. Again, 
This like his entire existence is predicated on capturing German children. That requires a lot of hand strength. Uh, I don't think that, that I, I, I can't Mr. deny Hanky. anything I just heard. Yeah. I'm on your side. All right, that's Mr. Hanky. Nope. Yep. Nope. No. Uh, no. 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 Krampus, no. It's not Krampus. It's the Krampus. Yep. All right. Well, uh, uh, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. It says competing on fear sorry, factor I, here. It, I keep trying. I'm trying to change this, and it's messing stuff up on me. But that's that's for the next round. Don't worry okay. about that. Don't All worry right. about that. Okay. Uh, but before we do, uh oh. Loser. Loser. Mr. Hanky was Brian Brushwood's guest. Oh! Oh! I gave that to you out of respect. Okay. You were right. Okay. Krampus would defeat a piece of poop. I'll take your drink. 30 seconds, unbroken. Bryce, you count him in and then end his dance. All right. I will I will narrate uh for the audio listeners. Here we go. 30 seconds. Uh, Start. Unbroken, unmusicked, pop and lock, and go. All right. He's doing the classic hand move. He's making an orb. He's now throwing that orb into a rope. He is taking his shirt off and forgetting the fact that we can't do that because it's Twitch TOS. <laughs> so now he is off camera and now he's back on camera and I'm going to ask him to please put his shirt back on so we don't get the channel banned. Five he's seconds. not doing that. He's willfully disregarding it. Three, he's not doing the... two, one. <laughs> hey, there we go. Yay. Did I do it? Yes, you did. And you got to show. Oh well. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, audio listeners, he put his shirt on perfectly, and it wasn't even a thing. I'll tell you what. This dude looks like he comically just had sex as a nerd with a hot woman. <laughs> <laughs> shirt inside out, arm coming through the neck hole. <laughs> Probably better. Uh. <laughs> Like all you need is is big gigantic like lipstick marks like all over his face, steam coming off of his out yeah. of his ears. What was your pick? Uh, not oh, yet. we'll see. Oh, okay, we'll, we'll see. see. All right. If it wins, I don't dance. I guess that's true. Uh, match twelve. It's the number fourteen seed, the Grinch versus number eleven, Kevin McAllister, and their challenge is to compete on the show Fear Factor. Fear Factor. Now, I think the initial thought would be Kevin because he obviously engineered such diabolical feats that put poor Joe Pesci and David Stern through, and not David Stern, Daniel, Daniel Stern. David Stern was the NBA commissioner uh, uh, through uh, uh, horrifying, horrifying acts. But the Grinch is actually a monster. So if we're talking about like eating bugs or like hanging off a ledge or something like that. I feel like the Grinch would win. Counterpoint. Also, Kevin McAllister is a child. I don't think he's legally allowed to compete on Fear Factor. Kevin McAllister is willing to do the hard work, right? In a way that the Grinch is not. I mean, the hard work. Ah, the hard work. Of like what? Yeah, like, yeah. like setting up micro machines? Yeah, and setting up like a, a, a Rube Goldberg devices that eventually bang sure. pots into people's heads. That's true, but what does that have to do with fear factor? Okay, good point. <laughs> <laughs> so the Grinch? I... Fine, the Grinch. The Grinch. All right, the Grinch. And with the Grinch being a uh, succeeding, that does mean that Justin's pick. Wait, hold on. That's, That's not the end, is it? No, but just you made it out of the round more oh, than did. anybody I did. else. I did. I made it out of the round. I made it out of the round. Grinch was my pick. There we go. All right, just a few more matches up here as we get into our semifinals. I dance for pleasure. <laughs> not because no one tells me to. It's Buddy the Elf, number nine, up against Oogie Boogie, the number five seed of their challenge. Protect Gotham from a meteor. Who is going to protect Gotham from the meteor? 
Is it going to be Buddy the Elf or Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas? Oogie Boogie, Oogie Boogie, Oogie Boogie got them supernatural powers. Can't up to go to the sky. To he doesn't really have supernatural powers. I mean, I guess like he has the power to gather a bunch of bugs into a sack I mean, and be a hive mind. Don't get me wrong. I think Elf oh, shit. will be I very just, I amazed. I just realized right now that Oogie Boogie's powers are telekinesis. He might be one bug that has telekinesis that makes all the other bugs like do his bidding and fit into this suit and be Oogie Boogie Man and sing Broadway songs. Yeah. So that makes me. Well, but if you're going to protect Gotham from a meteor, and let's imagine that we're talking about Gotham as the nickname for New York City where Buddy the Elf is. Right. I would say. More likely, the person to protect Gotham from a meteor is Buddy. Like, Oogie Boogie Man is probably just going to be like, like, this seems like a lot of shit. I'm going to leave. And Hold then he just on. fucking pieces out. Hold on. So, 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 Buddy sees a asteroid headed towards uh, a, a New York City. Yeah, and in line is is uh, 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 Bruce Willis. Uh, he's like, yeah, yeah, I've got to go drill a hole in it and blow it up. Yeah, and then, and then meanwhile, next wait, one, hold on, hold on, uh, 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 yeah. Bruce, bring, 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 bring. Yeah, oh, yeah. hello, what's up? It's your brother Don. <laughs> oh man, what's up, Don? Are, uh, are you in New York? Yeah, no, I'm in the middle of a thing right now. What's up? I'm in Austin. I brought you all this barbecue. <laughs> okay, look. <laughs> oh no. Uh, this other thing came up. Now there's a Shirley's giant here meter. too. Hold on, wait. Let me give the phone to Shirley. Okay. Hey, I brought you some barbecue from Los Angeles. No, am I from New Los York. From New, New York. York. I'm also oh, from okay. New York, okay. and I brought the barbecue. Uh, she look. was in New. She was in New York. I was in New York. You guys, yeah. you, you we're guys both did... on the phone now. Sorry, I uh, let me hand you off to to Ben Affleck. Uh, uh, what's up? It's me, Ben Affleck. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi. Hi. Yeah. I'm a big fan. This yeah. is actor uh, Shirley MacLaine and singer songwriter Don MacLaine. <laughs> Cool. Uh, why are we on the phone together? <laughs> <laughs> no one is quite sure. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Like, <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I'm gonna assume <laughs> that 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 uh, 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 Bruce Willis is gonna save the the day. Sure, but then. Who's more likely to protect Gotham from a meteor? I'll right. bet you it's Buddy, who's like, oh my God, boys, you better get on that space shuttle. <laughs> and not Oogie Boogie Man, who's like, I live in a nether world. I'm just going to leave and go there. I don't <laughs> live on Earth. Nothing ever happens on Earth for me. Bye. I don't know. Oogie Boogie would be all like, uh... he lives in a nether realm. Yeah. 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 He doesn't need to worry about a, a meteor hitting Gotham. Uh, I mean, maybe he's like, uh, uh, let me build a tower of oogie boogie bugs up to the sky. That's right. That's what I'm doing. I'm Mr. Oogie Boogie Man. Get out of here, Meteor. That's right. We're the B-52s of Meteor Deflection. It's me, Oogie Boogie. Ha! <laughs> and then he does that. This is the best Nightmare Before Christmas 2 script ever. <laughs> I, I'm sold. Go ahead. <laughs> Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie, your Oogie winner Boogie. in the semifinals. All right. The other semifinal match, number 14, is the number seven Krampus and the number 14, the Grinch. Their challenge to succeed in a job interview. Who's going to succeed in a job oh, interview? Man. Is it going to be Krampus or the Grinch? Well, what's the job? Any job. Any job. Any job. Krampus is not known for talking. He's known for kidnapping. Yeah. Uh, okay. Grinch is a bit of a silver tongue. So, uh, did steal did steal Christmas. That's probably going to be on his resume. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like. Grinch, although, although if we're Grinch, comparing Grinch. resumes, he stole Christmas once. Krampus, uh, Krampus kidnaps German children every goddamn year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's say we were replacing Brett. Uh, would it be with Krampus or uh, 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 the Grinch? Grinch. Yeah, I agree. Grinch is just a misanthrope. Like Krampus is like an me. actual like a, like <laughs> assaulter, like, like like somebody who's like literally breaking laws every year. Like like that's a dude who just had his worst act put 
basically the difference between the Grinch and a motherfucker that was on cops is negligible. Like he had one bad moment and even then he repented. I can I, can I just hire you in place of either of them? Like, like <laughs> I'm on the show yeah. now. Okay. So you right. already have. All right. Done and done. <laughs> yes. It's gotta be the Grinch. It's gotta it's gotta be the Grinch. Okay, man. Yeah. I I I, uh, I guessed wrong here. I thought I thought it would be. Uh, I thought it would be the Krampus, but it's going to be the Grinch. All right, there we go. Whoever, whoever, I mean, have you ever, I don't know. I, I haven't seen the Krampus movie. I don't know if the Krampus, like, you know, gives a big soliloquy or some shit. But, like, like a legend. I, it's a legend. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tradition. Well, no, no, no. But, but there's, there's a movie, movie came out recently. Yeah, there, there's a, a Krampus movie that I haven't seen, so I don't know. I'm almost like, certain like Brett has heard Tim it Curry and can recite it for us. How did it go again? I am... Um... No, this is this is the big scene in the Krampus movie. Right. So so the Krampus has just uh uh, uh saved an unwed mother. The entire uh, uh, chairman and, of the and, board but, but took a bullet doing it right. on Christmas. They're this about like to the, vote whether or not they're to about keep to vote for president Christmas around for President Christmas. Right. Yeah. And I know that says, you all think that I am a monster, but yeah. I have taken this bullet for you. If you were wonder who the monsters are, look at your children all around you. I am telling you, but also I will save unwed women because I am Krampus and that's what I want to do. Too complicated. I'm not giving him the job. Right. No, I like yeah, the part where you said save the women. It's a hard women. pass. It's a hard pass. It's a, it's a yeah, hard pass. You know what? Yeah. Have Feels your like people talk to my people. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks. We're here in our final round of the Monster Match September 2021 Jingle Hells. First up is the number five seed Oogie Boogie from the Nightmare Before Christmas. He's some sort of big bug monster. Up against the pear-shaped green villain, the Grinch. Their final challenge for all of the marbles. Setting up a tent. <laughs> Setting up a camp tent. Who is Going to win, gentlemen. Now, it's funny that you said that. Because yeah. if we are setting up a, like, camp tent, then I think Oogie Boogie has a shot. <laughs> he is he is definitely a bit of a showman. A camp. <laughs> uh, but if we are talking about a setting up a camp tent, then I think the man who actually outfitted an entire rigging system for his dog to sled him down into Whoville is probably the guy who's going to have the physical dexterity to do it. I mean, just to be sure, should we, we should call him, right? The Grinch? Yeah. Yes, yeah, just we should the... call the Grinch. Ring, ring. Hello, it's me, the Grinch. Ah, the Grinch, listen, it's a comedy show. We need to know, uh, are you able to build a tent? Yes. And not only have I built a tent, I've built many tents. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm glad you called. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. I hope you don't only remember me for that one thing I did 40 fucking years ago. <laughs> Didn't need to ask his name. They are on a no-name basis, Brian and the Grinch. <laughs> glad we got that cleared up. Congrats, the, gl the Grinch. <laughs> The glitch. There we go. go the glitch. The glitch. The glitch. Congratulations to the Grinch with the number 14. See, that's surely a tournament upset. Your ultimate Christmas character, the Grinch. The Grinch. The Grinch. Do you yeah. remember the Christmas tournament in September? <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, uh, a. <laughs> I, <laughs> it should be in July or in a month and a half. I have to think. I, I, did Bryce did remember? <laughs> I, I, that it was September. Man. I, I, oh, was he in Arizona and panic? <laughs> It could be both. <laughs> <laughs> September Monster Mash. September Monster Mash. September Monster Mash. September Monster Mash. What a work in two weeks. <laughs> I, I would like to thank Rob Horn, who sent in the idea and a lot of these suggestions. Thank you so much, Rob. If you've got an idea for a game that we should play on the show, greatnightpod at gmail.com is the new email address. If you're sending stuff to the old one, that'll still get there. But greatnightpod at gmail.com is where you want to send it. Thank you. 
Uh, it's this time in the show that we like to welcome on our good friend and welcome back to the program, Jomo. Jomo! Coming to the stage, Jomo. Jomo. Uh, so what uh, up in September? Jomo. Who won the tournament? I didn't even. <laughs> I, I didn't even. We, I didn't Grinch know it was did. over. Did so, somebody uh, win? I think so, we all won. Gr Grinch won, but. Like, not that it gives me any extra points because I didn't have to pop and lock with no music, but it was, but guy. It was my guy. It was, it was your guy. It was my boy. No, my I, boy. I knew that. But my I, boy. Yeah, big G. Yeah. Big, um, big 5G. Yeah. <laughs> but was there a, there was a final round? Yeah, yeah that was it. It was pitching a tent. That was pitching a tent. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's right. right. The, That's uh, Oogie, Boogie. Boogie is a tent. I felt like that was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. Yep. I'll he bet is, you, yeah, campus. if he just would have cut his his butt off, he'd literally be a tent. Yeah, yeah. And just laid those he bugs on the ground. Tent. He, would he is his... constantly pitching a tent. Yeah, really. Right, it's gross. Wow. Yeah, that's right. That is bugs, man. Man. Uh, uh, Jomo, how you been? I've been pretty good. I uh, been uh, hanging out. I am a. I had a small medical procedure, and I was. It was recommended to me by the doctors that I become a person of leisure. So what what have been your, uh, your your favorite things to do in your in your person of leisure? Which uh, I'm, by the way, I'm glad it's 2021 and they're recommending person of leisure, oh, yeah. not man was, of leisure. Exactly. Yeah. They don't know my pronouns. <laughs> and uh, so they they I, were. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to ask you to be a they them of leisure. <laughs> yeah. Yes. They did assume I was a person, and they were right. But they yeah. took, a, they took a risk. Nailed it. But uh, I was uh, I wore. Fewer pants than I would have. Oh, you know, I I went without pants on for a while. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I yeah. wore. Um, I feel like less impressive since the work from home stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I feel like a lot of people are like, no, I'm They're gonna let them. I'm gonna let them hang. Yeah, they're already there. I wore slippers. Uh, my mother in law got me some slippers. Yeah, and I wore them. Pretty leisurely. It's very Pretty leisurely. leisurely. Yeah. You want to know what? I'm actually. People have been getting me slippers forever, and I never. You, you fucking haven't tried wear it. Yeah. I never wear them. I never. I don't know. I, I even had a I, reason. Because I'm a barefoot man. Oh yeah. I have. I, I like I, the feel I, of, my feet. I, I like them cold. Do you have hardwood floors, or do you like carpet? Often, yeah. And now we do. Yeah. You like the you like the hardwood floor on your bare foot? Oh yeah. That's like like a like a, that's not that's like an animal, man. I don't know really? Yeah. What the, what's what's the soft? What, don't you like the soft? Comfort yeah. of a sock or a soft um, caress of a carpet. No, I, I like it very cold. So, really, I feel like I run. What, I, yeah. run I run body kind, temperature wise a little hot. What so. kind of wood are you people walking on that you can have soft wood? Balsa. Is this, oh, is, you have balsa floors. <laughs> I have balsa floors. Right. That will explain yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. my question. Yeah. 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 Well, no, that's track. that's crazy. So I, I, I always leave foot tracks in my in my <laughs> yeah, floors. Yeah. Constantly. Yeah. Every time I've walked, you walk in a different path so that it kind yeah. of evens out. No, no. I like I like to leave a groove, like oh, yeah. so I just know where to go. Yeah. yeah. And where you've been, that's good. Uh, yeah. No, I, I like the soft, uh, comfy feel of carpet and warm fabrics on my feet. So I did a lot of that. And so that's Those a, are the two main things. Have you, have I you did. binging anything? Um, good no, I, get in? Uh, I've I binged a uh, Barry. You know Barry. Barry. Oh, I haven't it's seen. Only, it. I've it's heard only two. It's, it's only two seasons, but uh, I watched those in a day. Really? Yeah. So you really? Oh, damn, that's some leisure. That's that was leisure. leisurely. I feel like if I did that, I'd call my doctor back and be like, "How leisured?" Yeah. Both seasons of Barry. That's very leisurely. Yeah, it almost felt like work. The, the taking that much says, leisure. Like, even the second one, and you're like, "Yeah, was I not supposed to?" He goes, "Nothing, nothing." No, no, it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. But, but 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 then you hear him scribbling in his right. notebook, like yeah. maybe, like, and we'll then follow up on that. Second season, he over leisure. Okay, over leisure. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, you didn't over leisure singing this song oh, right yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Okay. You want us to uh, set this up for you? Sure, set it up. Oh, man. I, I remember the first time I heard this song. I said to Justin, <laughs> I'm never going to forget this song. <laughs> anyway, here's Jomo. <laughs> Nailed it. I got a good friend who's a ranger. Up in Yellowstone, he said they're putting in a water feature up there. Old Faithful's getting old. You can't ask folks 
way the whole out. They won't do it. This new one fires off on the fives, and there's a lazy river next to it. But you need it. You didn't know it, but you need it. I guess you know it when you see it. You didn't know it, but you need, need, need. But you need it. You didn't know it, but you need it. I guess you know it when you see it. You didn't know it, but you need, need, need it. I got a screen on my refrigerator, a wallet on my watch. I got subtle hints of peppermints infused in my scotch. I got dinner on my doorstep, cameras on the back of my car. And the tracking device in my shoe is nice, but it's saying I've gone too far. But you need it. You didn't know it, but you need it. I guess you know it when you see it. You didn't know it, but you need, need, need. But you need it. You didn't know it, but you need it. I guess you know you just repeat it. You didn't know it, but you need, need, need it. But you need it. I guess you know it when you see it. You didn't know it, but you need, need, need. Oh, you need it. You didn't know it, but you need it. Yes, you know you just repeat it. You didn't know it, but you need, need, need it. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Jomo. Thanks, man. I guess I'll just take this one here. Yeah, it's cozier. Um, so, uh, 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 do you like Barry? Barry was good. I mean, I guess, good. I guess if you work through both seasons, I, I, yeah, I enjoyed it. It's it's a good mix of, uh, you know, character driven, but it's got some it's got some action. Yeah, because he's an assassin. He's an assassin who gets into acting. Yeah, like in a like a community theater, or a, and that's I, I that's a that's a that's a conflict. I mean, it's it's, it's yeah. there's got to be some some problems. Something's gonna happen. Something's got to give. <laughs> uh, it's got to go somewhere. And you're watching the first episode, going, "This this isn't gonna just go great because there's two seasons of this. It sure. can't just be great." And he's yeah. he's done being an assassin. And guess what? He ain't. He, he's it goes, he ain't. yeah. It goes he's somewhere. going back. Yeah. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's got uh where, where would you put that with other like shows like in that kind of like tension? Because there was like the Americans and Breaking Bad. It's a little bad bit like Breaking that. Bad, but yeah. like more let less takes itself less seriously, I feel like. It's yeah. like less heavy, less like important. You know what I mean? Less sure. important. Important, yeah. Not really considering important. no I mean like like it's not like being like the biggest meth dealer in right. New Mexico just, is know, like a gigantic it, thing. It doesn't but. it gets it's got a lot of like Light, it's got a lot of dark comedy, you know, in it, like yeah. funny stuff in it. That's just because Bill Hader's pretty. Great. Where, where are you at on the idea that it's not TV, it's HBO? True, uh, it seems like TV, it seems like, <laughs> mostly it seems seems like TV, like it's just kind of lo- it looks like most other TV, but you know, I, I think we talked about this before. Every time I watch something on HBO, I, I I set up a box office and then I get I actually go and I try to find I get my kids to sell me a ticket sure because it, but yeah. it's at home and then yeah. I go and I get the popcorn and I do the whole thing you just, do to, the just whole... to respect the brand I mean because you know? like like look if we give up that what's next what's the point of HBO what's if it's next? not a, yeah exactly if it's not Where a literal going? home box yeah, office yeah yeah so that's what I love about it yeah for sure uh, I think that's go cool. and then now it's to the max oh you couldn't ex- so you're you doing that but even you more. couldn't do more with it. I mean, yeah. you couldn't more home box office. It's like, <laughs> can I can I box office more? But it's no, up there. I'm it's at, like, I'm at there's literally. A, it's like the odometer. So no, it's it's the same thing. But you have an, uh, another one of your kids come up and say like, could this be bigger? And you're like, no. It, I, I want it to be. I really do, but it won't. Or maybe they're just screaming, stop <laughs> home box officing. 
We're at yeah. the max. Exactly. Yeah. No, I, it's great branding on HBO's part because uh, it's accurate. It's it's the yeah. maximum. It's it, it's the maximum um, amount of it. And uh, I also uh, get involved sometimes in HBO Go, Shit. which is it's so, like <laughs> so you do that, but you kick a window open and just it's like, run you know, out. I love setting up this box office at home, but yeah. what if it was somewhere else yeah. and moving? You know, and so. So you uh, do it just, in a moving sprinter like, van. Yeah, I like the way they keep it. They keep changing it up for me. So that's pretty cool. It's definitely not confusing. No. Or no. redundant products. That yeah. Are the same thing. For sure. For sure. Yeah. That's what I like about it. Too. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, definitely. I like, I recommend Barry. It's a good watch. Uh, any other leisure activities? Um, well, I, I was going to say, um, one of my main activities is, uh, just like safety, just like being super safe. Being stuff. safe. Huh? Yeah. And promoting safety. Oh yeah. Well, that's um, good. Yeah. I mean, cause I think we live in a very dangerous world. People oh. have been very focused on their safety over the last year and a half. There's so many dangers people don't think about and talk yeah. about openly. And, um, I'm not going to do it cause that would be, da- you know, I don't want to don't, don't do put it. ideas in people's heads. No, 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 no. So but, don't say um, it. Um, there's so much shit to worry about. And it seems so, like, like, like something that, that, uh, uh, you got a lot of thoughts about. Oh yeah. So I'm always telling people how to be safe and ways to be safe and stuff like that. So, um, I have a song about it. If you want to hear it, Hey, would you, um, uh, would you be interested in hanging around? If we're sure. just, uh, it has like a, just maybe just, uh, kick along with me it has like a kick along part a kick along part yeah all right sure yeah, yeah. i'll be happy to okay I'll, I'll teach it to you okay it's like uh you just you just kick like that all right yeah and, i can kick and that's it okay yeah all right ladies and gentlemen jomo thank you It's gonna be on a four count. Yes. And then kick. Not on, okay. not on the four. Got you. Watching a little bit of that late night TV, saw something that he couldn't believe. Well, he picked up the phone, called the one eight hundred number, got a package in the mail, and he opened it up. Sliced himself in the jugular vein, and he died. Thank you, Bryce. And Bryce is just running some slick AV here. My guitar's gone out again, I guess. Apparently. That's why you don't mess around with the Ginsu. It'll slice, dice, chop, it and mince you. Get on the phone, call up all your friends who haven't heard. You don't mess around with the Ginsu. And then we kick again here. Ha! Yeah. Ooh. Two more. Mm. No, that's it, actually. Came home one day on a Sunday and decided he was going to go play in the yard. But his mama said no. But he did it anyway, and when he leaned in close to get a good look at that ripple he saw in the pond, an alligator jumped up and bit him, and he died. That's why you don't play outside in your church clothes, cause your mama don't wanna have to wash those. Go cut your own switch where the birch grows, don't you know? You don't play outside in your church clothes. Ha, those are for church only. Yeah. It's the sad part where I talk about my childhood experience. The neighborhood kids had a birthday bash. It was great entertainment, but not much cash. Was a blindfold rope and a baseball bat. They said, here you go, kids. Have fun with that. It was Spider-Man swinging up high in the sky. Took my best swing, but I swung too high. Hit my best friend Tito in the face. Split his head open, and he died. That's how you never play with a pinata. 
You're better off staying home, spinning Nelly Furtada, than out swinging a battle like Jorge Posada. Stay away from piatas, and you don't mess around with the Ginsu. It's gonna slice, dice, chop, it'll mince you. Get on the phone and call up your friends who haven't heard. You don't, don't, don't mess around with the Ginsu. Ha! Ooh! And we freeze on this kick. What? Unfreeze. Thank you. Thank you. Jumbo of the Possum Posse. Here we go. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta futz with some. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. here. What we do, have more what questions do, what about what you did during your leisure period. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I'm busy thinking like, like, what on earth do we have to follow that? I mean, Jack, shit. That's what I was Jack saying. Shit. Okay, good. Uh, 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 I want to thank uh, everybody. Let, let's thank Brett for being here. Woo. Uh, Brett, of course, uh, our, our, our designated audience member, Darren. Uh, thank you, of course, for coming. Uh, uh, of course, Jomo. Thank you. Uh, 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 where are people playing that they can see you? Uh. It's real hard to say. We're going to be at the Bass Drop Music Festival. And I'm going to be competing at Merle Fest uh, at a, the Chris Austin Songwriting Competition on Friday. So if anybody's so you in... Are, you are flying somewhere to compete in a songwriting contest. Yes. That's why the first song I played, I'm playing, uh, I'm playing that song in a songwriting competition on Friday. Okay. They so, so can people... Uh, where I are you doing it? I don't know, man. It's so weird. They said, uh, they said you're going to, you're a finalist. Come to North Carolina. Yeah. yeah. Play at this deal. Compete on this. There will be a stage. But then when you look at the, where the stages are, they're all full. So I'm like, oh, is this like in a room with the judges? And I have to just like, sing, sing it to them? Yeah. Which is not as fun for me. It's kind of weird. Or maybe so it's like, like, like that's. The puzzle is you got to figure out. Uh, and then they're like, where you've, you've done it. Yeah, yeah. You've done yeah, yeah. it, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. But if you if if I make it past Friday, for some reason, I will get to perform at the festival. So I don't know. Come to the festival. Where you're is in, this festival? It's in Wilkesboro, North Carolina. If you're Wilkes around. Wilkesboro, North Carolina. Merle City Fest. of Lights. I'll Merle be there. Fest. I'll be there playing and hanging out anyway, just jamming. So come hang out and play some songs with me if you're in North Carolina. Uh, hell yeah. All right. So head out to Merle Fest. I mean, I'll tell you what. With this crowd, man, there's got to be one motherfucker that's going to Merle Fest. So if Come you on. are that one motherfucker, hit us up on Twitter. Hit Jumbo up Find on me. Twitter. I'll be there roaming around. Yeah. No, it, it'll it, uh, it'll happen. And then... Because uh, my leisure period ends uh, tomorrow. So, so I you can start full, working. Yeah. Stop full, uh, this was... Oh, shit. Recreation. Holy shit. All of this, this was leisure. This was a leisure. Period, right? I was... Uh, yeah, don't tell my doctor about the yeah. kick, the kicking. The kicking. Yeah, the yeah. kicking was well, that's why you had me. So that's I why could, you helped. I, Otherwise, I, I, I would have kicked. I, I could take fifty percent of the kicking for sure. And yeah. you normally just kick for leisure. You Honestly, you're being modest. You were carrying like probably seventy to eighty percent of the kicking. I'm club. blushing. I'm blushing. Brett, what did we learn today? Uh, well, we've learned that Bryce needs to oh, sell Austin a little bit night. better to his family. <laughs> 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 we uh. No, Know that uh, that Jomo, as always, writes the best songs ever, and also needs to really pay more attention to me on how to have a truly leisurely life. Yeah, and uh, that um, and that Corey is probably the worst pop and locker <laughs> I've ever seen. Apparently, oh. popping and locking both mean humping Brian's butt. Yes. Yeah. And and also Justin that you were an amazing quick change artist as well. I don't know what you're talking about. Yep. <laughs> I mean, uh, also he can be my favorite if not the best. <laughs> uh, shout out you crazy diamonds. Dude, uh, uh, see you next Tuesday. No, That's not what we say. What we say. It's been a great night. <laughs> Still a great night. Never been a great
later night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>